so today we are in the pretty village of Lammas and we're here to see Bure Reach which is just in front of me there so it's this cottage here as you can see it sits set back from the road and there is a village road in that direction down there is the very pretty Buxton Mill and, and in this direction the road goes off up there and there is parking for one car to the front of Bure Reach and the graveled area is shared between these two properties here. Let's go in and have a look around. So you come in through the front door to this little entrance porch where you can hang your coats, take your boots off um, and off the entrance is the downstairs loo which is just here. there and a window that goes out to the side garden. So Bure Reach, the original part of the cottage dates back to the Victorian times I believe and this here, this garden room is a newer addition and you walk through three entrance halls into the garden room and this is a really lovely space to relax in and it's got this lovely big window here that looks out to the walled garden which is very pretty beyond. And there is a door here that leads out to the rear of the property. And this little cottage has a fantastic trick up its sleeve outside, which I shall show you in a bit. But so off the garden room, you come into the original part of the cottage and you have this lovely dining room here, an exposed beam there. And there's a cupboard up to the end of that. And off to the right of the dining room is a kitchen. And the door from the kitchen from the it comes in from the dining room and equally to the side here from the garden room where we were just now. And kitchen, nice modern fitted kitchen, panel tiled floor. There is space here for a washing machine and a dishwasher. And there's a gas hob and electric oven there. There we go. And this gives you your first glimpse of the hidden gem at Pure Reach. As out of your kitchen window, you can glimpse through there to see the river. I'll take you through and show you the sitting room. So from the kitchen, you come across the dining room, past the stairs here and into the sitting room. This is a lovely room. That feature beams and a really pretty Victorian fireplace there. And the sitting room is to the front of the cottage. So this little bay window here it's out to the parking area in front. I'll just turn you around so you can see back into the room. So this two bedroom cottage has a lot of downstairs reception space, the garden room, the dining room, and this sitting room. Perfect, I shall show you the bedrooms upstairs. So upstairs, you have two good sized double bedrooms. This one to the front of the cottage is currently arranged as a twin room, but it is really a very decent sized bedroom. And it looks out again over the parking area there. And I'll walk you back into the room so you can see from here. Another pretty little future fireplace. And there's a wall cupboard there too. And the second bedroom and the family bathroom are off the upstairs hallway here. So the family bathroom sits between the two bedrooms and this is a really generously proportioned bathroom for a cottage. Um, so you've got nice heated towel rail, wash hand basin, sink, there's a bath there, a separate shower enclosure with a main 
Jane's Precious Shell and a rainfall head there. And a further cupboard there. And this has a window out over the side of the property. So looking out over the garden room, down to the walled garden and to the river and the countryside beyond. Really pretty view here. And I'll turn you around so you can see the room like that. This is a really lovely bathroom actually. There we go. Oh look there I am. Hello. There we go and then we'll go and have a look at the second bedroom. So whilst the second double bedroom at Pure Reach is slightly smaller than the bedroom to the front of the cottage, it's still a good sized double bedroom. I shall walk you in and show you around. So there we go. And there's another pretty little feature fireplace here. But what this bedroom boasts that the one at the front does not is this beautiful view from the rear of the cottage. So from the back of Bure Reach, you have these most fabulous, far reaching countryside and river views. They really are lovely, even in January when it's at its most bleak. It's very beautiful. So there we go. And what I'll do is I will take you outside and I will show you the feather in the cap, if you like, of your reach it's a special little secret okay bear with me we'll go outside so outside the cottage to the side of the cottage you've got this really pretty little walled garden here and I'll walk you back in here and turn you around so you can see your little outbuilding there so you have this wee shed here outbuilding it goes stretches past the garden gate there to meet the property behind, and that's all storage space for Bure Reach. And then this garden wraps itself around the side and the rear of the cottage. So this is the garden room extension there, and the bathroom window above. And it comes around to the side here. And there's the door that comes out from the garden room and the kitchen window. And there is a further cupboard for gardening stuff here. And then you go through this utterly cute little gateway here, out to this. So from the back of your reach, you have direct access out onto the river here as it slowly winds its way to Oxton Need in that direction, to the mill there. And in this direction to Buxton Mill. So there are no power boats, motors of any kind allowed on this little stretch of river. So you will get quite a lot of bird life swimming past and the odd canoeist in the summer, maybe to wave at, whilst you sit and relax and enjoy the view. So there you have it, the lovely Pure Reach two bedroom Victorian cottage in the sleepy village of Lammas, near to Buxton Mill. Your closest shopping towns would be Aylsham or North Walsham. And your closest striking point to the coast would be out towards Cromer. There are some very excellent local pubs like The Goat in the village just up the road. And Bure Reach is currently a very successful holiday let. It's holiday let between April and October, usually although it would equally make a lovely permanent home or your very own second home that you don't want to share with anybody. 
but if you would like to arrange to come and have a proper look around, then just give me a call. Thank you. Bye now.